What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. 2022 Bowman's Best Baseball just sold out. This is an eight box case break. Pick a team's number seven. And here we go. So, Matt got lost by Mojo Braves. Also took the White Sox, I believe, as well. Lost two teams there. All right, guys, Bowman's Best. So, here we go. I ripped an insane amount of this on Instagram the last two nights. I I think last night I might have ripped like at least six cases of this yesterday. So I've been seeing a lot of this Bowman's best. And uh, it is very nice. Good mix of draft picks from the draft class <clears throat> from the prospect and then of course rookies in the class as well. <coughs> Alright, so I'm gonna rip the first four boxes and then we'll rip the next four after that. All right, here we go.
gonna move those cards that are just kind of messing up this stack. These bending cards really kind of. We're not bending, I should say, warped. Kind of mess up the whole stack. Yeah, it's a nice little cruise. There's, I mean, the one thing about best is that there's just so many silvers here, or so many refractors that I feel like they're not going to sell for as much as they should. Because they make like an infinite amount of these, honestly. You could probably get like five or six of them in a whole case. But as a collector, I'm sure it's nice. Alrighty guys, here we go. Samuel Zavala to start us off. Refractor Otter, and how about a little Wander Franco? Number to 199 for Tampa Bay. Tristan with that one to start us off. There you go. We got a Taj Bradley. Another one there for the race. Tatis. Julio. And we have Eric Brown Jr. Autograph there for the Milwaukee Brewers. I'm a little purple Jackson Holiday. Here you go, Zach. The 250. Nice Julio UFO. Julio Silver. And Daner Cueva, green to 99. Jake Berger. All right, next box. Alan Serta for the Reds green. And how about a little Spencer Torkelson? Purple for the Detroit Tigers on our big dog, Rob. 250.
We got a Reggie Crawford. Tamar Johnson. Jordan Wicks. Brian Hayes Blue. Pirates going to Steven. Tatis. Number to 199. And a Yurabel Angeles. For the Oakland A's. Oakland. It's going to Big Dog Rob as well. West Calf with a Lubob. Green Speckle to 99. Bobby with Silver. And we got a Henry Davis. Very nice for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Pittsburgh going to Steven. Elijah Green. Edison Paulino. Then we got a James Wood. Number to 199. Under Franco Base. We got Joshua Baez for the Cardinals. All right, last box, and then we'll go with the next four. We got Serta. And we got Fire. Hunter Green, that's number 250. And a Harry 4 to 50 gold prospect there for the Seattle Mariners. Going to Tristan. Rizzle Gold to 75. De Los Santos for the Pirates. Colas Green Speckle. Chase to Lauder.
Alrighty, guys. Go to the next four. And they're replaying the Steelers Packers game uh, when they went to the Super Bowl in 2010 11. How crazy is that Ben Roethlisberger at that time had Mike Wallace, who was a speedster, right? Um, Antonio Brown, who of course I think was like his rookie year or second year. And then they also have Emmanuel Sanders on that same team. Imagine. I'd still be in this hobby, Rex. I was in this hobby right out of high school in 2011. So if I didn't meet up with Jaspies, I probably still would have been somehow in the hobby. Um, maybe I would have done breaking as well. I don't know. But I started getting into this hobby seriously 2011, 2012. So it wasn't until like three years later that I met the Jaspersons. So probably still would have been into this, but if, if you're trying to say what would I be doing if I wasn't in the hobby, it's a little different. I don't know. Probably some type of warehouse job probably. I probably would have applied to like UPS or something. Post office. Well, I already do that on the weekends, Rex. Wink, wink. That's but that that's not my main thing, you know. Yeah, that was fun times, Jeremy. I love doing just hockey land. It's hilarious. It's fun. Great people, always laughing, pulling some nice stuff. have a, all of my stuff basically Jeremy but I'm not really buying any more of him not, not to say that I don't want to but I pretty much got everything I really wanted I was very picky with my Miles Sanders collection but just to spread it out to more Eagle players like Devontae Smith doing some Kings Quinn Byfield too 
I should be selling my Miles Sanders because it's worth a lot more than when I got it. But when he's in your PC, he's your PC. Are they? I think they lost yesterday. But everybody in the Pacific has been winning, isn't it, Wild? I don't know if you can keep up with the chat or not, but... Everybody in the Pacific Division in the last, like, five, six games have been almost winning every game. Vegas ended up losing two nights, or three or four nights ago, but they won yesterday. My Kings on a five-game winning streak right now. Kings are looking dangerous right now. Although Fiala got injured last night, I don't know how serious it is, but they still did pretty well against the Avalanche. But it's looking like, uh, basically, if all of us continue to win, and some of the people like Calgary and, and uh, Nashville that are outside the bubble of the, of the wild cards, it seems like we're all going to be in. It's just a matter of where are we going to land, you know? So I want to say the Kings are like eight or nine points ahead of like the last wild card seed, which is you know close to four or five games over. So that's pretty good. And I think right now the Kings are tied for first in the Pacific and then also in the Western Conference with Vegas. Crazy, Chad. It's nuts, man. I went to two games last year. I always try to go to at least one game. One game a series, minus like Stanley Cup Finals, because that's just way too expensive. But I went to game four last year, and then game six last year. It's pretty fun. They won game four, but then they lost game six. Although they should have won that game, honestly. But yeah. Kings. It's crazy to look at this. It's crazy. I was... Crazy to look for me as a Kings fan, like, the team they had last year to the team they have this year is, like, totally different now. And it's just a few players, too. And just players like Willard and other guys that are actually stepping up and playing and scoring a lot of goals this year, too. Whoa, Red Bradley to 10. For the Rays. Well, honestly, Chad, at this point, you might as well go to a regular season game because you're definitely not going to go to a playoff game. <laughs> not to say you don't have the money, but I know you're probably not going to spend it on a sport that, obviously, you're probably just still getting into. Uh, you know, especially being a new team. But no, you should. You should go to You should go to a home game. I'm sure the cracking games are probably pretty lit. Jazz Chisholm, $2.99. Oh, that's right. You did already. Oh, well, then you're good, dude. Just go to more. That's right. You told me you were going to one of them. That's right. Placencia. But, nah, that's just what happens, man. Obviously, Seattle's deserved a hockey team for a while. You know, so. It's just so exciting now that you don't have to worry about, like, only going to, like, what, WHL in Seattle. Now you have actual NHL. Nice. Where's the where's the All Star game at this year? Eric Brown Jr. and then Lubov. Is it in Seattle this year? Mm -hmm. 
Brian Acuna Jr. No, I know. I, I think they're actually pretty good. But you know what I'm saying, though. It's just like when NBA goes back there soon, you know? It's probably going to be super, super expensive. Eric Brown Jr. Yeah, he could, dude. He could. Kamar Rocker, nice one right there for the Texas Rangers. And how about another Torque? Torque Purple this time to 250. And they got a Torque Refractor. Bobby Witt. Juan Guerrero. Shane Baz. Alright, Junior Pettis for the Oakland A's, and then Rob with the Ryan Rackley to 50 for the Giants. Denzer Guzman. Uh, two more boxes, guys. So it looks like that second Bowman's best sold out. So I'll probably do that next and then take a little lunch break after that. Jordan Lawler. Auto there for the Diamondbacks D-Mac. And you got Jess Chisholm. Ricardo Cabrera for the Reds. It's going to DY. Julio. CJ Abrams, a little atomic. Nice Ian Lewis to 150 for the Marlins. Samuel Munoz for the Dodgers to 99 prospect. Bo Bichette, Gold Lava to 75. And a Christian Santana UFO Auto. Detroit going to Rob. All right, guys, last box here. Good luck, everybody. James Wood. Ronald Acuna Jr., purple to 250. Showtime, Shohei Otani for the Angels.
And a Lonnie White to 75. A little gold lava. Pittsburgh. Amador for the Rockies. Brandon Marsh for the Phillies. Show one more auto in here somewhere. Nice Johnson, that's one per case. Jose Ramos, auto for the Dodgers. Hunter Franco Refractor. And Acuna. Alrighty guys, let me quickly top load these other autos I just pulled from the last box and a half and then that's it guys, we'll do a quick little recap. So again, this is one of those cases I had a lot of prospects and barely if any rookie autos. Most cases I've done barely have had two max, maybe one. But I don't even think we hit him one autograph for a rookie here. I think everything was basically prospects. Some nice stuff, though. So they go quickly go through them there. That's a blue right there. Christian Santana. Gold Lonnie White. Torgelson color was really nice. Cunha. To 10. Red. Harry Ford. Gold. Henry Davis to 150 was really nice. Got another Torque. Got a Jackson Holiday, a little Wander Franco. Lots of color too, guys, so we'll be see that all be top loaded as well. So appreciate it, guys. Uh, like I said, next one, number eight, is sold out too. Coming up next, jazbeescasebreaks.com, guys. Thanks.